Good afternoon. I'm Chelsea Probst, and on behalf of the Just Black Artistic Team, I would like to welcome you to the first concert of 2022 as we reach the halfway point of Just Black Concert Series uh, Season 4. We are so pleased that you have decided to spend your time with us this chilly afternoon. And I'm so excited to introduce a new face to the Just Box stage, lutenist Cameron Welke from Iowa City. Uh, Cameron will be performing his arrangement of box third cello suite BWV 1009 on the lute. Um, and of course, arranging the cello suites for lute is not a novel idea, as Bach himself actually transcribed his fifth cello suite for lute. Uh, suite number three is comprised of six movements, as you see in your program. Uh, please hold your applause till the very end of the sixth movement. Um, it will begin with a more contemplative prelude and then move on to a series of Baroque dances. Uh, the concert concludes with the final chorale, Er Halt mein Herz in Glauben Rhein, from Bach's cantata Ach Gott, wie mach es Herzeleit, BWB 3 which was written for the second Sunday after Epiphany, which was this past Sunday. Uh, I invite you all to join us in singing this final chorale. You can find the music and the full text and translation in your program. Um, but at this point, I would like to ask Cameron to say a little bit about his instruments. Show of hands, who's gotten to see an instrument, instrument like, like this in person before? Got a couple in the back, but it looks like, like most of the crowd is new, which is not new for me, because these are not the most common instruments kind of lying around. Um, uh, this, this is, is a very late iteration of the lute. Uh, the lute is an instrument that went through lots of changes over the course of its roughly 250 years span of street popularity in Europe. And this is kind of the final stage that it took before eventually falling out of fashion at the end of the 19th century. This is a late German Baroque movement. Um, and it has an awful lot of strings. This is the most strings that I've ever got on the at any point in history. Um, 24 strings all total, uh, 11 in pairs, and then two strings that stand by themselves for a total of what we call 13 courses. That's how we measure kind of the size and type of a loop is. Whatever functions as a single string, so either a single string or a pair of strings double together, like you would see on a mandolin or a 12 string guitar, we would call a course. So 11 pairs, two simple strings, 13 courses. Uh, and the way that these particular loops are kind of formed is they're very like a guitar and a hug together to create a single instrument. So my higher courses are two in wider intervals for me to play chords on, uh, like so, just for a sec. Chords. And then the lower strings are two stepwise on uh, into a scale. So they end up uh, carrying the ball of the bass line. Common comment that I've ever played, but I've never reached down to play, and they use low strings. But the fact that I'm playing these strings all the time, you just gotta watch this hand to see that happening, you see my thumb reaching back to play these bass notes, but I never fret them or change pitch with my left hand. Thank you, Cameron. And I'm sure he would be happy to let you have a closer look at the instrument after the concert, so if you're interested. Um, we are recording today's performance to share with those who cannot make it uh, in person today. So videos of all of our concerts can be found on our website, our Facebook page, and our YouTube channel. Uh, this concert video will be made available online for its YouTube premiere this coming Sunday, January 23rd at 2.30 p.m. 
I encourage you to invite your friends who maybe couldn't make it today um, to join the musicians. Cameron and I will be there, and the other uh, Just Talk leadership team will be there to sort of answer any questions you might have, um, you know, sort of for a virtual conversation while we enjoy the program. As you know, attending the concert today is free, and watching the videos online is free, but we ask those who are able to help us pay our musicians by making a tax-deductible donation. You can do so by dropping a donation in the box at the very back, where Alan is sort of standing, um, or you can go to our donate page on our website to be connected to a PayPal account. Uh, we, we could, could not, not be here today putting on these concerts without your generous support, so thank you, thank you, thank you. The Just Talk Artistic Team would also like to express our thanks to Lutheran Memorial Church uh, for making this gorgeous space available to us and for offering us a plenty of uh, encouragement, guidance, and logistical and financial support. We would also like to thank our fiscal sponsor, Bach Around the Clock. These concerts, again, would not be possible without these two organizations. Uh, before we begin our program, I just want to remind you all of our COVID safety measures. Please maintain social distancing and wear your masks at all times during the program, especially during the singing of the final chorale. Um, if you are seated more towards the back and you see some empty spaces in rows that are more forward, if you feel comfortable, I encourage you to move forward as much as possible at this time uh, so that you can really hear the lute at its best. It is not loud. <laughs> it is a, uh, we don't have an amp. <laughs> um, so, uh, without further ado, I hope you enjoy today's program and join us again next month um, on February 16th for a concert by harpsichordist Trevor Stevenson. Thank you. Thank you. 
Well, that was 
really a wonderful experience. Um, so we'll, we'll have another opportunity to thank Cameron again. Um, after we sing the final chorale on our program today, you can find the text and the translation and the music for the chorale in your program. I'm just going to read through the text. Feel free to sing along with us in German. Um, if that's a bit beyond you, join us on whatever nonsense syllable suits you best, la la la, etc. Um, so the text, uh, the German first, and then I'll read the English translation. Er halt mein Herz in Glauben rein, so leb und sterb ich dir allein. Jesu, mein Trost, hör mein Begier, O oh mein Heiland, wer ich bei dir. And the translation is, if my heart remains pure in faith, so will I live and die in you alone. Jesus, my consolation, hear my desire. O oh my Savior, if I were only with you. And we will sing through this twice. First, uh, will be Cameron and I will lead you through the tune, and then I will indicate uh, for you to join us in for a second time. Thank you. And let's give one big round of applause for Cameron.